Hello, you guys. This is Relentless Renee. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All comments are welcome, whether it's good, bad, thumbs up, or thumbs down. I totally will still appreciate it. I have another story. And this one is about a girl from Louisiana. And her name was Renita Williams. I'm going to read you the article first. Man who murdered his ex-girlfriend on Facebook Live pleads guilty. A Louisiana man has pled guilty to murdering his ex-girlfriend following a standoff which was broadcast on Facebook Live. Jonathan Robinson, 36, originally denied murdering mother of three, Renita Williams, at her home in Shreveport in April of 2018, but changed his plea while appearing before the district court. Williams made a desert plea on Facebook Live while Robinson was holding her hostage, armed with a rifle. During the live broadcast, Williams can be heard saying, Stop, Jonathan, while the suspect paces around the room. Jonathan said to her, You want to be famous. I'm going to make you famous. During the recordings, everybody want to be famous. Let's be famous today. He was. It was reported that he said to her, Robinson also fired shots at police who were attempting to get him to surrender during the standoff, which lasted around 80 minutes. The video ends with several shots being fired and the phone streaming the video falling to the ground. Robinson then stands over Williams' body and says, Now B-I-T-C-H, game over, game over. B I T C H. Y'all, I don't use profanity, so I had to spell it out. Robinson now faces life in prison plus a hundred years without the possibility of parole after pleading guilty to first degree murder. The Shreveport Times reported. Robinson also pled guilty to several other charges, including attempted murder of police officers fired at. Following the guilty plea, District Attorney James Stewart said Robinson could have faced charges for the murder of two police officers. The officer who actually was shot, he survived, and the first officer actually who drove up to the scene of the crime could have been shot. Thankfully, she stopped short before if she would have driven up to the house, she would have been killed. They originally sought the death penalty for Robinson, which I strongly feel that they should have, before changing his mind after speaking to the victim's mother. Let me read that again. Stewart said he originally sought the death penalty for Robinson before changing his mind after speaking to the victim's mother, Anita Williams. Based off my conversation with her, I was willing to back off if he pled Plead guilty. So, this was something that happened last year. Um, Jonathan was basically playing house to two homes. He was playing husband to two homes. So, he had a live-in girlfriend with a whole family. But he was seeing Ronita on the side. And I think at one point he actually left his home with his family. I don't think he was married to the female, but they did have children. And start living and courting Miss Ronita. Ronita had several kids, but none by Jonathan. So he did the back and forth. So from my understanding, he ended up moving away 
to try to like you know just get away from Renita. I'm assuming you know his I'm not gonna say spouse but his living roommate a common law wife you know how okay your spouse may have done something in this state so it's like listen let's just get away but either way it go it put a five hour gap between them but you cannot make a man do nothing that he do not want to do he gotta want to do it so i don't care if jonathan moved 10 states away if he was not done doing his dirt he will travel 10 states to still go see who he want to see. That's just the way it is. Both one head might be in the right place and the other head ain't. Do you understand what I'm saying? He got to want to do it. Mentally, he got to want to do it. Physically, sexually, hey, that head wasn't ready to leave her alone. So if you still feeding this young lady a thought that, you know, you still going to be with her, but you playing, but you still going back home. So that what pissed her off. So she gets on Facebook and, you know, spill it all on Facebook to the living girlfriend. So when the living girlfriend saw the video, she just went ham in on Jonathan. Like, okay, I can only imagine, you know, the conversation between them. And that set him off. That pissed him off because she got on Facebook Live and did a live. And, and I don't know if it was sent to the girl, but you know how Facebook works. And he got mad. So, I still don't see why can't you just... You know, take up your bed and walk. Because you know you still was dibbing and dabbing. So he gets in his car with a rifle and drive five hours. Five hours you had to think about what you was doing. Really? You couldn't cool off in five hours? You drive to this girl house, you so mad kicks in the door her brother is there with her i think the kids is already going to school or whatever but her brother's there with her he gets on the phone he on the phone talking to his live-in girlfriend where he didn't assaulted her i guess beat her up or shot or whatever then you make her since since facebook somehow locked her account well, she couldn't go live. He makes the brother go live on his phone on Facebook and give it to her. Make her talk into this phone and apologize to his living girlfriend and everybody. You can clearly hear his girlfriend on the phone saying, if you love me. You will not do this. You will stop. She even tried to save Ronita's life. I hope that's how she was thinking. That she could have saved. Trying to save Ronita's life. Or not trying to say don't do it. Because you will be away from us. But no. He proceeds. to When she finished apologizing. This fool. Starts shooting her. On Facebook live. Like, where they do that at? Are you even kidding me? Are you even kidding me? For someone to be that blatantly just out there like that scares the devil out of me. Had I not been established with my husband of 10 plus years, I would have just climbed in a bubble and just hide from the world because I wouldn't even want to date nobody. So my message to you young ladies, if you get to this part of the video, please do diligence to yourself, to your family, to your children. 
put God first and let him bring the man or your Boaz to you. Let him send your Boaz to you because people ain't playing no more. People ain't playing no more. But this is con this concludes my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll talk with you guys in the next video.